about a controversy that refuses to die down and all this is coming out of the state of Kerala. Now even after the release of uh, and the uproar over the film The Kerala Story, nothing is back to normal. Now amid a strong backlash from regional outfits like Nam Tamil Arkachi, multiplex owners in Tamil Nadu have now stopped the screening of the controversial film. Now this comes in at a time, remember, when Prime Minister Narendra Modi had once again invoked the film at a public rally in Karnataka. And BJP's national president, J.P. Nadda, also attended a special screening of the Kerala story that was organized in Bengaluru, again in the state of Karnataka. Now after watching the film, J.P. Nadda had said that people should watch this film as they will be able to understand what kind of conspiracy is being hatched to make our society hollow. A new kind of terrorism is taking place and it is being developed where there is no sound. But it is a very poisonous and very detrimental and very dangerous type of terrorism which is going on, which has been rightly portrayed in the Kerala story. This has got nothing to do with any state. This has got nothing to do with any religion. But it has to certainly do with the nation. The youth is being first tempted then being forced and then he reaches or she reaches a point of no return and this Kerala story exposes them, exposes such type of uh, terrorism. The picture Hitler ne banaya tha, Jews ke khalaaf, uska German language se English mein tarjuma karenge, translation karenge, uska naam eternal Jew tha. Germany ke German awam mein puri nafrat phail gai. जूस के तालब से उसके बाद ऑटोमेटिकली रास्ता साफ हो गया इससे हमको सबक हासिल करना है ये हमारी खुशकिस्मती है कि अगर वो बॉलीवुड में चले जाते तो ये पूरे फिल्म स्टार घर में बढ़िया मगर अब प्रधानमंत्री एक्टर के साथ साथ पिक्चर के प्रमोटर भी बन गए 130 करोड़ जनता का प्रधानमंत्री है और एक पिक्चर को प्रमोट करते हो भी झूठी भाई और पिक्चर बनाने वालों से हम ये पूछना चाह रहे हैं फिक्शन है या फैक्ट है तुम कब तक मुसलमानों को बदनाम करके झूठ बोल के अपना पेट पालोगे कब तक थोड़ा सा शर्म रखो तुम झूठ पर झूठ फैला रहे नफरत फैला रहे Multiplexes have decided to stop the screening of Kerala story and they've cited law and order as an issue to stop the screening how does the BJP see this Multiplex have not decided Multiplex have been forced compelled pressurized by the Tamil Nadu police the Tamil Nadu government that is the fact so if there is a threat, from where the threat is. So it is a systematic uh, uh, planning of the government in order to, if, since they are not able to legally stop screening this uh, movie, the government is pressurizing the theatre owners to do away with the uh, movie. And that is what they have done. And uh, we strongly condemn this. The entire story is a screenplay direction by the government of Tamil Nadu. Wantedly, they are doing this. Tamil Nadu government has got exposed because they were unable to uh, stop the screening. See, for the votes of minorities, for the power that votes give and the money that power gives, this government, this DMK is hell bent on supporting the uh, so called violent, um, violent expected people. So, th that is what they are doing. The party or the government has any role in um, in Kerala for this movie because they were not um, take this for the movie. They were uh, they were forced to take this movie out and uh, play a different movie. This is, I think, normal practice. Whenever a movie doesn't have um, attraction, theatre owners immediately change the movie, and that's why multiplexes have also changed uh, uh, Kerala files with other movie that which uh, will uh, will garner the audience attention. So I don't think there is any need to do any politics on this. As we should, you know, BJP is uh, doing uh, politics and trying to divide people. I have two tickets. 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 ये फिल्म जाकिर नायक को सांतु दूत कहने वालों को जरूर देखना चाहिए। ये फिल्म 
बटाला हाउस पर आंसू बहाने वालों को जरूर देखना चाहिए My colleague Sharon Elizabeth is joining us on the broadcast uh, with more information on this controversy that refuses to die down. Sharon, on the one hand, we see where the political discourse really about the film is going, where you have strong faces like uh, J.P. Nadda and also the Prime Minister himself backing uh, the Kerala story. On the other hand, you have film industry voices that have also, you know, sort of boycotted this entire ban culture. claiming and in the recent one i've just heard uh, shabana azmi talk about how if a ban call on a film like lal singh's chadda is unjustified how do we justify a ban call for kerala story what is it that you're learning vis-a-vis -vis that in the wake of uh, the exhibits also being stopped uh, what do we know about it considering the film's collection is speaking otherwise because the film is working wonders at the box office Oh, well, even before uh, the movie was to be released, there was in fact controversy, and we have seen the kind of uh, criticism, especially from the political circles, when we talk about the opposition, be it the Congress, the TNC, or the left parties. They have how uh, have in fact criticized the movie, calling it a propaganda. Now, mm. secondly, like you mentioned, yes, there are celebrities, there are uh, personalities within the Bollywood who have in fact come in support. of the movie because they have called out the cancel culture uh, and this is something that has been echoed by the supreme court as well it has been echoed by the kerala high court as well because there were multiple petitions that were filed against this movie in kerala high court uh, and in supreme court asking for a ban on the movie and we have seen the observations the observation has been that a movie is a form of art and it should not be banned until and unless it is really uh, you know provoking or trying to create violence on uh, ground and uh, that should in fact be seen in that way is what the observation of the court has been mm. but as far as the political parties are concerned mainly the opposition they have been calling this uh, targeting a particular community trying to uh, show a particular community in a bad light and that is why they have been asking for a ban on this movie but nevertheless like you also pointed out even uh, this movie when it has been released on 5th of may but uh, even then the record that is being shown the data that is being shown the movie is doing very well this happened mm. in uh, multiple states uh, but there are several states that are also calling for a ban in tamil nadu as well there are multiple places that are calling for a ban but apart from that there are also states uh, where uh, there is the movie is doing is in fact tax free so okay. the war of the between two sides are still going on uh, but the movie at the point is doing really well and the makers have been calling this a truth uh, this is something that was being hidden and now the truth is out is the claim of for the movie makers all right sharan thank you so much for that i mentioned uh, two important faces of the bjp jp nadda and prime minister himself this time it is union home minister who has also come out in support of the kerala story in fact in an ended interview to news 18 india's amish devgan he has spoken about the controversy over the film listen in ek film aayi hai the keral story us usko lekar bahut sari pratikriyaaye aa rahi hain do taraf se do tarah ke views aa rahe hain asad ovesi kehte hain ki ek nafrat phailane wali film hai congress ke kuch netaon ne bhi iska virodh kiya hai kya kehna chahte hain aap dekhiye main manta hu कि ये सामाजिक समस्या है और देश ने और राजनीतिक दलों ने सामाजिक समस्याओं को आंख मूंद कर नहीं देखना चाहिए इसका सामना भी करना चाहिए इसके समाधान भी ढूंढने चाहिए सहमरुक वृत्ति से सामाजिक समस्याओं का सामना नहीं किया जा सकता And as the debate in politics continues over the Kerala story, CNN News 18's Maria Shakil has spoken exclusively to Anupam Kher over the matter. Listen in. आपने अभी कुछ दिन पहले कश्मीर फाइल्स की अभी केरला स्टोरी पे बहुत चर्चा हो रहा है और फिर ये IB 71 आती है क्या इसको वो प्रोपगेंडा कैटेगरी में आएगी या बोलिएगा ये फैक्चुअल है सर्कमस्टांसेस ऑफ एन अनटोल्ड स्टोरी देखिए यूजुअल सस्पेक्ट तो जो बोलना है वो पिक्चर देखने से पहले बोलना शुरू कर देते हैं तो उनकी तरफ ज़्यादा तवज्जो हम ना ही दें तो अच्छा है वो आपको वही सेम चेहरे नज़र आएंगे जिनको शायद तकलीफ़ है इस तरह की फिल्मों से मगर ये फिल्में कामयाब हुई हैं इसका मतलब ऑडियंस को पसंद आई है और बदलाव आने में थोड़ा टाइम लगता है इसी बदलाव की कोई शक्ल नहीं होती है बदलाव साइलेंट होता है तो मे बी दिस इज़ द टाइम वेन द इंडियन सिनेमा इज़ गोइंग थ्रू अ चेंज 
which is very important that you can make a film on if we are making a film on 